Hey family, what's going on? Welcome back to our channel. I hope y'all are doing well. I told y'all that I had to go to the grocery store, but I did not need a lot of stuff. I just needed to get what we was out of or just a few things that everybody kind of asked for. And I know this seemed like a whole lot, which is, <laughs> I don't know, it is what it is. We went to three different stores. We went to Food Giant, Winn-Dixie, and Frugal's. I did a walkthrough in Food Giant and in Winn-Dixie, but I did not in Frugal's because I went in by myself and it was kind of hard for me to do that. My husband did tough it out and go with me, but y'all know he's not feeling well, but he did the best he could. So I appreciate him just coming. So um, I'm just going to show y'all what all I got. If y'all see it say SC Groceries, or y'all pretty much tell where it's going to come from. But we got three things of the spring water. This was three for 13 at Winn-Dixie. And I got one case of Barks, the 24. These came from Frugal's. They was $9. I got the chocolate um, ice cream from out of Frugal's. And I've been wanting these. I've been eating chocolate ice cream and cones. So I got me a big thing of it. And we still have vanilla and all that in our freezer. So I'm about to put this in there now because it's starting to melt. So hold on one second. All right. And then I got uh, another thing of Peter Pan. Oh, I got the Peter Pan Creamy. I know I normally get the Honey Roasted, but this is all Frugal's had, and I did not go to Walmart at all. Um, I do put a lot of peanut butter in my mom's food and her shakes and stuff, so we just needed another. So we won't, you know, we'll have enough. And then my son Philip asked me for some Monica cookies. Y'all know normally I get these for Sam's, but I haven't been back since the last time, and I don't know when I'm going to go again because I don't be needing much out of there. I got two things of the bimbo white bread. So I got a thing of the chunky chocolate chip because I like that with chocolate milk. So I got that. Um, I got a thing of seasoning and this came from Frugal's. The bread came from Frugal's. The seasoning, um, y'all know I always get this. And um, cause I'm making spaghetti tomorrow, but I needed another one of these. I got, and that came from Winn-Dixie. I got four of the, excuse me, four of the Fireball Ramen. My son Deontay asked me to pick him up for He wanted the beef. And they were 98 cents a piece at Frugal's. And I guess we can continue this way. Um, I got one of these things of water. I'm just going to keep this on my countertop because we have ice. And it's not going to fit in my refrigerator. I got three things of the Zatarain red bean seasoning. And like I said, I did a walkthrough. And I just picked these up out of Food Giant because I was trying to give them a chance. I thought they was going to be affordable. And if y'all don't have a Food Giant in y'all area, it's like a Food Lion, Piggly Wiggly, Kroger's. And, and that sort. And they was high because these at Frugal's was only $2. And at Walmart, they're $2 and change. But from now on, I will be buying these from Frugal's or Winn-Dixie because those are the two cheapest places I found them. Um, so I got three of them. My mama asked me for some uh, the large butter beans. And then I got a thing of red beans because y'all know the kids love their red beans. I got these sugar cone because um, I like these as well and plus I already got ice cream cones up there <laughs> so I got these from Food Giant and they wasn't bad it was um, $1.25 which wasn't bad at all I should have got two and then I also got these from Food Giant um, and like I said all their prices wasn't high but if y'all walk through do that walk through and sh if y'all watch the walk through y'all will see what I meant by some of their prices was ridiculous like what <laughs> so the stuff that was on sale that I needed I grabbed mama asked me for three uh the chocolate pudding she still have vanilla from when i went to all these but she wanted chocolate so she asked and i got it y'all know these are our favorite the Punea old folks brand sausages i get these from frugals they're the cheapest place that i've seen them and i just had picked up a pack but philip they fried some for breakfast this morning i needed some onions so i got these from Winn dixie i got me some premium crackers from out of Winn dixie the Smuckers Natural Strawberry Jelly. Y'all know I love Smuckers. I do. I love Smuckers. So I got this one from Out of Winn Dixie, and the price wasn't bad on that. It was like two dollars and some change. I got one of the Goober grapes, but I picked this up because I only needed one because I ate Philip other jar. I've been eating me some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, so I replaced it, and I got that from Out of Frugals. It was two dollars and some change. I got the Prego meat. I got two of them because we're having spaghetti tomorrow. I got one of the um, premium hunts uh, meat sauce just in case if I do need it because I normally get two of these big ones so if I don't need it I won't use it Jordan got him one of these clearly Canadians y'all remember these from back in the day all my old school and that came from Winn-Dixie I got two of the Louisiana gumbo um, the gumbo base <laughs> out of 
Winn Dixie. Two Sunny Delights. I normally get the packs from out of Frugals, but they were sold out. Y'all, I guess people been going and buying them because they were sold out. So I just got my mama two of these, but Walmart carry them. So I will get some from Walmart or either I'll check the other Frugals in another area. I got one thing of vegetable oil. I just picked that up from Frugals. The Prestige um, Fruit Bars. Y'all know these are just like the Outshine, but they got the Caribbean and the Strawberry Pina Colada. These came from out of Winn-Dixie and they were on sale for three ninety nine. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer and I'll be back. All right, y'all. And um, those are was one hundred and ten calories a piece. And then I told y'all we do not do the ground beef anymore. Now steaks and all that stuff. If they want it, they can get it. They can have it, and I'll eat them if it's a holiday or something. You know, just an occasion. But as far as like ground beef, I don't do ground beef anymore. I said it in my last video. The ground beef, ground chuck, it just no matter if I got it lean, even if I put it in the oven or however, it just it messed it with my gallbladder a lot. And I still do have my gallbladder. It's just. I guess the fat content or whatever that's in it, it just don't agree with me. So I have been doing ground turkey. This one came from Winn-Dixie. These were $3.99 for the smaller ones and then $9.99 for the three pound. And I got two of those. And these were $9.99. So it still was overall cheaper. And Jordan got him a pack of popsicles for him and the kids. Philip, well, Philip asked for the regular Fruity Pebbles. He was like, I want those fruit cereal, the one with the Flintstones on there. And he don't eat the ones with marshmallows, but I do. So he wanted those, and I got these. The kids don't eat these. They eat Fruit Loops and Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like my oldest children. And they just go buy whatever cereal they want themselves, um, if it's nothing that I have here. But anything in the house, everybody welcome to. I got me a Honeydew Melon, because y'all know I love my Honeydew Melon. And so this came from out of Winn Dixie. All this here came from Winn Dixie. So my honeydew melon, and like I said, they got prices, walkthrough prices, walk prices in a walkthrough. Honeydew melon, bananas, cantaloupes, and they are big and smell so good. And then I got me a half watermelon, and I'm gonna see if Philip wants some. If Philip don't want some, I'm eating this baby tonight. I got two pineapples that me and Philip will cut up tomorrow or even Monday, cause I only have a little. Of the pineapples that me and him cut up a couple of days ago i got some more grapes the purple and the green again all my fruit came from out of winn dixie i told y'all i'm not buying no fruit from out of walmart and if they do not come from claiborne hills or winn dixie i don't want them because i'm not buying them from sam's either now all these when we go if they look good i'm gonna get them from there so those will be the only three places all these winn dixie and claiborne because everybody else had let me down with fruit so I will be washing these tomorrow in my vinegar and baking soda. That's all I use. Soak them, wash them. I got three of the Splash until we do go to Aldi's. I don't need any groceries. I just need water, um, water, and some, veg some fresh vegetables, and flavor water when we do go. So I got the Splash. I got two um, berries and one grape for my son. He bring these to school along with regular water. He also asked me for these um, sparkling ice. I got two of the Starburst Cherry and two of the Starburst Strawberry. And y'all see, I still have two more of those over there. Because y'all remember I bought these last week. He just drank one because I got one of each. I think it was the cherry I got. I don't think I had bought the strawberry one. I bought the cherry one. I had the cherry, the orange, and the, the lemonade, the lemon. Um, cause this will be the first time I got them. So he just had his first one today. He said he liked it. They were four for five. So I got him four. Um, and then I got my mother in love, a thing of Sprite. Um, no sugar, <laughs> uh, sugar free, the sh zero sugar Sprite. I am so tired. I can't talk. I got my mama a thing of Barks and then I picked up the house, just a six pack of Cokes. I got me another a thing of my Milo's. Y'all know I like my Milo sweet tea. And then I got two things of these pink lemonades. The my, the Mayer Brothers that they had at Winn-Dixie. And these were on sale as well. I don't remember the price. But y'all will see it in the walkthrough. And that's it, y'all. And somebody else had was asking me, how often do my kids go through chips? They don't. Because they was like, they cannot. Because they was asking, not in a you know mean way. But they was like, girl, do your kids go through chips? Because my kids do at the house. Y'all remember that haul I bought these? They still sitting here. The only one they ate was the ruffled cheddar. That was it. 
And that wasn't a big bag. Y'all know the party size bags is not really party size bags. And within like maybe four days they ate them. And I have two adult kids and then Philip, which is, you know, they eat off of it. So they don't go through their stuff like that. Um, I don't know. They don't, they don't eat a lot of snacks. Now, fruit, they go through fruit. And they go through like popsicles and stuff, which I'm glad. I would prefer them to go through fruits and popsicles than chips and all of that. But the chips are here when they want it. But they just don't always gravitate to it. Like, they like to eat. So, it's no knock on anybody else's kids or family because we all eat. You know, all of us eat. But, I don't know. They'll choose food over snacks. They really just have snacks. Like, if they're watching a movie or, like, if my son, if they order pizza or something, then they'll have chips. But, other than that, they'll eat food all day. And then, if Philip wants something after he eat, he's eating grapes. Because the last thing of grapes that I had did, y'all remember, I had cleaned them and I had them in my con prep containers. These was the three prep containers I showed y'all. He ate one, like it take him two days to eat one of these. So within six days, he finished all. And they was like both of my grapes, like I said, I shared them. That boy ate them. So I'm going to clean them tomorrow and he'll eat them. And like I said, we still have a few pineapples and a, still, a few honeydew left in here. Um, and these, let's see, my strawberries, um, let's see what this is, my pineapples, my honeydew, oh, and that's, um, uh, uh, banana bread, and that's it, and that little thing of cantaloupes, that's all we had left, so, yeah, my baby told the rest of that up, he, he, he gonna be playing, so yeah, but that's it you guys. Um I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you all very much. Um I'm about to get this stuff put up. <laughs> and like I said, I'm going to take me a long hot bath because my kids are still gone, so the house is quiet. Mama Margaret just went and laid down because she said her stomach bothered her. Because when I left, she ate some chocolate ice cream and a chocolate cupcake. And I'm like, that's why your stomach hurting, because you had too much chocolate, madam. <laughs> So I'm going to give her some medicine so she can go ahead on. It's like some gas sex medicine. I'm going to give her that. And she'll lay down for the rest of the night. Mama E is going to eat her something simple for dinner. And then she'll rest for the rest of the night. And the kids are at Talia's house. My middle daughter, Talia, her and her husband's house. They had a crawfish boil. So they went to that. So they had them a siblings day out. And I'm happy for them for that. And they're going to bring mom and pop some crawfish. So that's going to be me enjoying dinner tonight. So I love you all so much. And like I said, y'all stay blessed. Um, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.